right, guys, welcome to episode 64 of Dope Talk TV. It's yours truly, Low Key. Got John here with me. Got Remy over there snoozing. What We're up, back what with up? another one, man. We appreciate everybody that's liking, sharing, subscribing, thumbs up, all that good shit. Don't forget to do just that. You know what I'm saying? Go down in the link. Link is in the description for Thumbs merch up. if you want to, you know, if you want to fucking support. And yeah, man, we're back with another one. How you feeling today, Johnny? Shit, chilling, man. Got what? Episode 64? Time's 64, flying. 64, man. Let's get it, man. I'm hyped it's already up. Been, it's already been over a year that we've been doing this. It's crazy. It's already a fucking, what? It's early in the morning. Yeah, you know early I mean, well, it's not morning. early no more, but, you know. We've been, we've been doing it since early, you know, setting up and shit. But, I mean, yeah. honestly, bro, it's, you know, I like doing this shit, though, bro. I like doing this. It's like a, yeah, I don't know, it's like a therapy session sometimes. You yeah, know? I get motivated sometimes yeah. too. I'm like, man, like, fuck, what am I gonna talk about? You know, it's and fun. Yeah, coming up with the topics and shit. Like, it's 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 a vibe. It's a vibe, and it's, it's kind of like a little bit of an escape. And I hope so it for is, you bro. guys too. When you guys yeah, watch this shit, I want you guys, you know, relax, you know, laugh. You know, we'll yeah, talk about some serious spark shit. Up, you know what I'm saying? Join just, us, relax, and just, just to get away. Yeah, yeah, just to get saying? away. That's why, like, we don't try to keep everything too too serious. You know. We talk about serious shit, but sometimes we just like to lighten up the mood because, like, you know, everybody want, needs a laugh every once in a while. Facts. But talking about a laugh. <laughs> nah, for real. I laugh a lot, man. Sometimes talking about I... a laugh, nigga. What's, what's the worst date? Oh, no, oh, Remy. Remy almost knocked oh, over our light. Fucking Relax, bro. Just lay down. Yeah, man, guys. Talking about uh, funny shit, bro. What's, what's the worst date you've ever been on? Man, the worst date I've ever been on... Um, Honestly, I went to the movie theater with this chick. Uh, I'm not gonna say her name. You know what I mean? I always say that. Yeah, nah, nah. We one. we don't give out names. Nah, like we don't that, we don't give mean? out names. Yo, um, bro, this nigga's wild. <laughs> yo, get him out yo, here. Yo, yo, Remy, get, 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 get out of here. Get out of here, bro. Roll him over. Sorry, bro. Go over there. Go, go lay down. Oh right, yeah, bro. but yeah, back to the story. Fucking. <laughs> Yeah, the worst day I ever been on was when uh, I went to the movie theater with this chick. I picked her up. She was a little bit older than me. It was cool. Um, it was actually kind of like interesting because she was wearing Air Forces and I ended up wearing Air Forces and we were matching. It was cool. It was cool. You know, matching that's, vibes. That's when I had the Ford Focus. I had a Ford Focus guy, a four, a four door, four door, and it was slammed. This motherfucker told me not to slam it, but I anyways, told him. he didn't listen. But yeah, but eventually it was, I was right. Yo, it was it was smooth. It was smooth at the time. And uh fuck. <laughs> and I uh, it was smooth. But anyways, yeah, I went, it was cool, and it was just like fuck, man. Like it was just wasn't a vibe, bro. Her breath fucking stank. Damn. It was it was nasty, bro. And Yeah, man. Yeah, how about you? The worst day that I ever been on, I ain't gonna say no names, but oh I thought it would be a vibe. Yeah. You know, I thought it would be a vibe, and it just ended up being <sighs> It ended up being one of those days where you're just like, I'm ready to go the fuck home without you. Yeah. You know, type shit. Where it's just like, the vibe is off. Like, yeah, you feel it. It's like just not try, right. You try to talk, and it's just like, we have absolutely no chemistry, bro. <laughs> like, whatsoever. Like, I can tell you don't give a fuck. I don't give a fuck. And let's just go our separate ways tonight. Like, that, that, was, the, that was the worst day I've ever been on. It was just, it, it, was, a, it was just awkward. It was an awkward vibe the whole time, and I was just like, I'm not really trying to see you again. Nah, the most awkward, mm-hmm. the most awkward experience I've ever been, man. Just thinking about it, fuck, man. This is number one, actually. Uh, remember, I got that hotel room in Orlando, and I got this chick. So, guys, I got this hotel room out in Orlando, and I had this chick come through and shit. It was cool, you know. We had fun. We did our thing. Y'all vibe and, and you shit. know, I'm out here about to roll up and shit like a normal, normal pothead. You know what I mean? I'm rolling up. She comes out. She's just like, nah. She takes out this little plastic bag. I was like, what the fuck is what this? The she, fuck? It was a fucking bag of K two. I was like, what? this is last year, twenty nineteen, guys. Yo, so you're still smoking K two. Oh, I was like, what the fuck is going on? She's I was like, like yeah. two thousand nine vibes. Yeah, facts. When I was like sixteen years old, bro. How old are you? You got two kids and you're fucking smoking K two still. What then the her fuck? phone's ringing. She's like, what? Making a big show like. I gotta go. What? Like I was uh, just like, get the yeah, fuck. Get out. Yeah, just go. And yeah, she, facts. Like, yeah, she you could have just told me you wanted to leave. Nah, for real. <laughs> so <it's, laughs> like, I'm like, all right, cool. That's when I called. I was like, all right, I already got my thing. You know what I mean? I got some ass. I ain't gonna lie, I got some ass. And I was just like, yo, let me get this girl out of here and let me just call facts. my boys because I'm chilling. I got a whole bottle here. No fucking, bro. she don't even drink. This bitch smoking fucking K two. <laughs> fucking, I don't know what the fuck is going on, bro. So I just got her the fuck out of here and. 
Nah, she actually left herself. So I just told her just I opened up the door for her. Listen, man. Basically, I went on another date one time where the girl told me that she smoked. You know. Yeah. So I'm like, all right, you smoke. So let's smoke. We smoked, bro, and she started tripping. Nah, fuck like, that. She's like, I got. She's like, I, I gotta remember to breathe, and I'm just like, bitch, have you ever smoked before? Are like, you telling me you're a pothead? You gotta and remember like, to breathe. Nah, see, like, that's... nigga, what? Like, yeah, like you're going overboard. Just... Like, you're, don't act dramatic. Yeah. Like, I, we're both stoned. I'm stoned with you, but yeah, for real, it's not that serious. It's not that serious, but <sighs> bro, like, oh god, that's don't another you... thing, guys. Man. If you go on a date. And you don't smoke or you don't drink, don't tell the person you do. Yeah, like if you like don't just do be it. Like, yo, that's not me. I don't care if you do, but that's just not me. Yeah. You know, like don't try to like, I don't know, show out or some shit. Like Yeah, for real. And to be honest with you, bro, like I've been on a date. I don't know if you consider this a date, but I gotta talk about this again. But I had, bro, I you know that focus I was telling y'all about, man. <laughs> fucking yo, I was chilling after work and it was like a little fucking hangout, you know what I mean, this chicken shit. And bro, <laughs> like I smelled something weird. Like I don't know if we we're smoking, oh and she God, you know, she bro. coughed too hard, and you know she shit in my car, guys. Bro, poop juice. Yo, there was a stain. There's still a stain in that bitch. Whoever That's got that fucked. car now is fucked. They're probably like, yo, that's some coffee or something. Nah, but it was embarrassing for her. You know what I mean? And I took a picture of it, sent it to her, and she was just like, nah, like that wasn't me. I was like, then what the fuck? Are you t- are you serious Don't right now? Don't insult my intelligence, nah, which bro. I know it was you. No, nah, so it was <laughs> fucking gross. It was fucking nasty. Fucking. Jesus, but that was that was probably one of the worst experiences. I don't really consider that a date, but yeah, guys, fucking, if you yeah, ever no, had somebody shit no in the date. car, that's fucked. If somebody, yeah, if you had somebody shit in your car, comment below because I never had that shit happen to me in my nah, fucking life. I'm not gonna lie, bro. I've never had no sloppy bitch like that to where like she did something or like threw up in the car. Nothing like that. Thank God. Yeah, I've heard I some have. stories. I've had I, some. Girls. I've heard some fucking stories. Fuck. But yeah, man, talking about like worst dates. Would you date somebody that's unattractive just you know to see if if you could really build some something, like, like you know that they're loyal, but they're just ugly. Yeah, like or like just, you just find them unattractive. They yeah. might be attractive to somebody else, but yeah, like I mean, I don't know. Nah, bro. they're fucking like, ugly. They fucking yeah, ugly. If they're ugly. I mean, I don't know, bro. I don't know. Nah, I mean, I feel like it. it I mean, if if it happens, it happens. But I sent that fuck, to man. There was a, <laughs> the, the reason why I bring up that topic is because it was interesting because I saw that it was a meme of quotes and people. We're just like commenting. I was looking at the comments. Everybody was saying no. I even sent it out to everybody. All these females. I was sending them out. All my friends. All my homegirls. And I, they were all telling me no. I mean, I was honestly, like, damn, bro. That's interesting. That's a big part of it, though. Like, you have to be attracted. Like, for you to even get to know somebody like that, you have to have found them attractive first. You know? Like, something about them had to have drawn you to them. Yeah. So, it's like, if you don't find somebody attractive, the odds of that going anywhere is probably really slim to none. Because it's like, it's just a big part of it, bro. You can be the sweetest person on earth, but if that person don't find you attractive, then your sex life is going to be shittier. Like, it's just, it's not going to be the same. It's not. So, yeah, it's true. I feel like you just got to find somebody that, that's compatible with you. And, you know, somebody that you just, you feel like you, somebody you find attractive. Yeah. Know? Yeah. That but, is true. But yeah, my, mine would be no. Yeah. I don't think. I think everybody that I've been with is because of that physically, like a yeah, big part of it. Is you're physically attracted to each other, and that's just what it is. Like, Facts. And that's just what it is at the Facts. end of the day. Unless, yeah, guys, unless, if that yeah. makes us shallow pieces of shit, go down in the comments and let us know, if, man. How if, do you feel about it? Would you date somebody that's unattractive to see if you know if you could build something real, or would you would you say nah, skip past next? Yeah, just let me know if I'm a piece of shit. Cause, nah, facts. Because if I mean, we know we're pieces of shit. But yeah, not extra just, confirmation won't you know won't yeah. hurt nobody over here. Nah, I think everybody agrees, Loki. And if they, yeah, and facts. If, and some people if they just don't, don't really... it's because they're in a relationship with an ugly motherfucker. Yeah, <laughs> and, and they're trying to fucking you know. I actually know some people that that been with ugly motherfuckers just to give it a shot and still didn't work out. Yeah, and then they're fucked. Now you got that body on your record. Yeah, you're like fuck. You can't ever get rid of that shit. It's a stain. <laughs> nah, it's a stain on your game. <laughs> that shit's a stain forever, bro. Facts. That's like a tide. You need need them tide marks. You know, like the fucking <laughs> stain removers. <laughs> Facts. Damn. But yeah, dog. I, something that's like. I think it's a popular opinion is that fat people are funnier than skinny people. You just have to be, bro. You yeah. have to make up for, you know, you have to make up for, for just being chubby. So ultimately, I feel like fat people are 
way fucking funnier than skinny people. For yeah, whatever I, reason. I think just the typically... Besides Dave Chappelle, because Dave Chappelle is the best fucking guy. Ever. Yeah, yeah, he's funny. He's funny. And, I think you he's know, hilarious. No, no, he is hilarious. He's like he's a goat, actually, you know? The goat. But you got to give respect, you know what I mean, when it's due. That motherfucker, bro, he told Netflix, take my show off your fucking... Like, and for real. you like got to if... give Netflix respect for actually doing it. Because yeah. they could have been like, fuck you. Yeah. Like, we're going to keep it up and make money off of it. Yeah, for but real. But he has, he has nah, all the rights. Honestly, bro. He owns that. All of it. He, he doesn't own it. That's why they for were, real? Yeah, that's why they were able to put it up without his permission. But he was like, if you fuck with me, bro, you'll take it down because that makes me feel bad. Like, he did a whole stand-up about it. Damn. He talked about it. Like, he doesn't own that. Really? Yeah. He signed, a, when he was young, bro, he signed a contract. He didn't know what was really on it. And he signed away the rights to the Chappelle Show. Anything that has to do with Chappelle Show, the whole name. He sold the name and didn't wow. even know it. Because wow. at that age, he'd never seen a contract like that. No, no, no. You know? So they, they, like, he told Netflix, he's like, if you fuck with me, whatever, you'll take it off, bro. Because I, I like, it makes me feel bad. You know? And they did it. So you got to give salute to Dave. For being fu- for having balls and walking away from fifty million dollars, and then you got to give salute to fucking Netflix for you know, but yeah, making that relationship right. But ultimately, yeah, back to the original point: fat people are way fucking funnier, bro. Yeah, plain and simple. Yeah, yeah fat people are funnier. I mean, look, you look at all the comedians. Like, look at the guy from fucking uh, what's that fucking movie with, with fucking McLovin? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I mean, like, Seth or whatever. Not Seth, but well, Seth Rogen. Seth is Rogen funny. is funnier. You know, he's it, a heavier set guy. Yeah, you know? and he, he's funnier. He reminds me of Kenny. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. uh, you know what I mean? Shout out to Kenny, but yo, shout out to Kenny. Yo, bro. but Seth Rogen's funnier when he like if he like, I I don't know I like I feel like if like you lose weight you just <laughs> you lose it. Yeah, it's like <laughs> you lose your funny streak. Like for real, you really do. Like I feel like you just you look more approachable. <laughs> if that makes sense. Ah, this thing is you look more approachable what the fuck when, does that even mean? when you're a bigger person. <laughs> like, like I don't know when I when I see a bigger person, I automatically think you're a nice fucking person. Nah, when like, I see a bigger person, I automatically think that you're a fat piece of shit. Nah, that's fucked up. <laughs> yo, yo, listen here. The obese, the obese in the fucking. I, I'm a fat piece of shit. I can't nah, he used to be a fat piece of nah, shit. I was fat piece of shit. You know, and if I I'm still fat now, yo, but like if y'all saw me two years ago, you'd be like, holy fuck. You. Fat Yo, if I didn't work shit. out, I would be so fucking fat. Y'all don't understand, bro. I this eat a lot of shit. Is the skinniest, fat, fattest nigga I know. I swear to God, I'll eat anything, and I'll just fuck. It's like a vacuum. Every two hours, bro. He's like a fucking baby. <laughs> Every two hours. And if I don't fat. eat, if I don't eat, I get fucking. He starts mad. fucking crying like a baby. Oh, <laughs> man. Man. Nah, for real. But man. yeah, now something that's that's fucking you know a little bit more serious and that pisses me off is. We all fucking pay taxes, right? We all fucking pay taxes to make sure roads are fixed and shit's done around the city and this and that. Where the fuck does the taxpayer's money really go? Because ultimately, bro, I don't see no programs. You know what I'm saying? I don't see nothing in the city for kids. I don't, like... I, I mean, shit. Yeah, unless it's, like, famous people doing fucking shit for the city. I see I see people that are, like, you know, wealthy that are famous and they're doing fundraisers and shit like that. Shout out to y'all, like... Nah, facts. Yeah, I mean, like, shout out to Meek Mill and the owners of, of, of Philly. Philly of, of the, the, the Eagles. The yeah. owner. Uh, I forgot his name, but uh, he's a young cat, young white guy. Mm-hmm. And uh, he's friends with... Uh, he's actually owner, I think, of the Sixers, too. If I'm not mistaken, that's big. I think he's, I think he's owner of the Sixers, not, not the Eagles. You guys correct me on this, um, but yeah, he donated with Meek Mill for this program out in Philly for like you know kids that need help. Like you know what I mean? Like they help, they really help out the community, bro. And it's like yeah, it's sad, and it, bro. it's unfortunate that it takes people like that to have to reach back when the people in the community are already literally paying for the help. You're you're getting taxed for it. But yeah. then that money that you're getting taxed, you don't ever see it back. Yeah, it doesn't go to the school system. It doesn't go system, to the school system. It doesn't go to after school programs for kids. It doesn't for go for nothing. Yeah, roads, like in, like it takes. I don't know. It just makes no sense to me, bro. It just makes no sense to me. Like, and taxes, period, like make no sense to me. Like, even if you own a house, you still got to pay for it every year. Yeah, it's not much. Like, it's like twelve hundred or two thousand. Whatever. However, it depends on how big your house is. You know your property, but yeah, it's like why the f- if I bought my house cash why do i gotta still pay you property taxes every year 
You know what I'm saying? It's like, like it's not even that. It's like why is my roads fucked up? Why, yeah, why is the roads why fucked up? Why are my kids school like why are, why the are books they asking, from 1997? Why are they asking for supplies? Like you ever see teachers when they when you sign your kid up, they you know, you're supposed to you're assigned to like a certain thing that you're supposed to bring to the class and it's mm-hmm. like bro like why why do we even why does the teacher even have to ask that why does she have to come out of pocket yeah why do they have to They're... come out of their own pocket to make sure that kids have what they need you know it, it's amazing bro and then the thing that makes me more upset about it to make your kids smarter yeah it's it's an investment yeah you know what i mean it's an investment but it's like ultimately bro like people need to understand but education's yeah. important bro and you know we need to put money into into education, not just sports teams, you know? Because a lot of the times, once once a school does fucking get good grades and they get a little bit of money, yeah. it usually goes into the fucking new uniforms for the basketball team and the football team and new sports gear and all this shit. But it's like, bro, what about the fucking science club? You know what I'm saying? Like, what Facts. about all these other fucking clubs that are, like, doing other shit? Like, actually learning how to, like... Make a trade, like yeah, bro. I don't like, know. It, it's, like, it's like crazy. we're trying to fucking make your kids smarter and succeed at life. You know what I mean? Like, we should be investing in these kids. You know what I mean? And like, it's not, and it's it, not up to the school system to invest in your kid for you. Yeah, you. it's not. You know what I'm saying? It's not. Like, you got to invest into it, but that's part. Of, that's exactly why the taxes is a part of the problem because you are you are getting taxed, so that your your kid's school is up to par. Yeah, and education and teachers are getting paid what they're supposed to be getting paid and everybody is doing what they're supposed to be doing and you just don't see it bro if anything you see cut money cuts every fucking year they take a little bit from here a little bit from there a little bit from over here and now it's just crazy bro but they expect the kids to have a's and b's when they're learning material that's fucking 15 years old they're not learning the new shit now like they're learning shit that the textbooks are so old nigga it's like you're learning shit that changed Mm-hmm. Like that information isn't even valid anymore. Yep. You know what I'm saying? Like for real. Facts. So yeah, it's, true. it's fucking sad. It, no, nah, it is sad because like the programs that you see, that's like the government like makes programs for these guys and sets them in the right direction. Like this, the way that America's you know just using their taxpayers' money, it, it's all corruption, bro. At the end of the day, like you could just yeah, tell, man. like it's just it's not going to the right places. But and it's I mean, like it's, that it, everywhere, bro. But it's it's like everywhere. That. Yeah, it's everywhere. Yeah. All governments at some point are corrupt, you know, in, in some way, shape, or form, but I don't know, man, fuck all that, fuck all that tax shit, bro, nah, tax some shit I find shit. crazy, bro, it's like animals that fucking freeze and then come back to life, bro, yeah, I saw that video we were watching, that shit's yeah, crazy that shit, as fuck, bro, like, alligators wild. literally freeze, bro, yeah, I, and then just like, still breathe while they're fucking like hibernating underwater, yeah. Yeah. Crazy shit. No, they freeze, and I was looking into it, and it's like, yo, they, it's literally, it's like, they didn't spend a whole fucking six months sitting there freezing. It felt like they came, <laughs> like, they, they froze for, like, it's like time fucking stopped for them, and then, <laughs> and they woke up, and, and then they woke like, up, the and fuck? it was like a one second passed by, and then it was some fucking winter was over, the fucking <laughs> blizzard was done, you got the fucking summer flying by, and <laughs> you know what, the, sun, back. the sun's back, the fucking, everything's back, bro, and, Next thing you know, the water starts to fucking defrost. These motherfuckers defrost, <laughs> and they come back into the water That's again. So and it's fucking like crazy, though, bro. Like, imagine being frozen for that long, and, and then, then you just come back to life. And you come back to life. I mean, holy they, shit! I, I wonder if humans, like, you know, what I mean, is that what nah, they we're, do? We're fucked. Nah. I mean, I'm I'm pretty sure there's a way to do it, yeah. and they've done it. Like some people freeze themselves or something. Yeah, I'm sure that's a thing, but um. Yeah, I don't know if you're gonna really be alive. Like the caveman, like is that what they did? Like, nah. you're dead, bro. You fucking froze. <laughs> like, imagine being frozen, bro. Like, imagine, bro. Like that must hurt. Like coming back to life. Like, oh my god, your skin. Like Frost it's like you, imagine being covered with fucking super glue. Imagine, and your face is like. <laughs> you're like, and then you start breaking and trying to break apart, and you start like fucking like peeling fucking like a fucking and shit. peeling like a goddamn fucking iguana, bitch. <laughs> during the fucking hibernation, I don't know. I'm just nah, hibern- shit. I'm so glad that us as humans don't hibernate, bro. Because nah, imagine real. that. Imagine or you shed. just fall asleep tonight, nigga. Don't wake up for three months. 
<laughs> nah, bro. Like you know how much of a waste of time that is. Nah, man? y'all niggas are lucky, bro. Bro, dark skin motherfuckers, bro. You know what I mean? Like <laughs> y'all motherfuckers go out in the sun, y'all be tanning the fuck up. Look at Kevin. You know what I mean? Like all my yeah, all my you friends, be, you be fucking turning red, I'm, peeling like a bitch. The next day, bro, I'll start fucking. By the next week, bro, I'll start turning dusty as a fuck, bro. I'll <laughs> yeah, start turning dusty. I seen this nigga so dusty one time, bro. Nigga literally had fucking dust from his toes to his fucking nose. Nigga had dust everywhere. It was the craziest shit. But that's because we went to the beach and this nigga started peeling, bro. Peeling. I looked looked over and there was nothing but dead skin cells all over his fucking body. His clothes, everywhere. I was like, what the fuck? Bro. Yeah, I was looking rough as fuck. And then every time I fucking did this, I would fucking see flakes of fucking skin flying everywhere. I looked like a reptile, bro. I was bro, nasty. You look like he got fucking ran over. Nah, I can't imagine <laughs> sleeping in the sun, bro. Waking up, being fucking bro, burnt. Fucked. And then it's only like half your body. Like, Will, yeah, shout out it. to Will. <laughs> bro, this nigga fell asleep in the sun with his sunglasses on? Bro. I know I see it. He was fucked. <laughs> Fucked, bro. Like the whole front of his body, bro. Was that's like ran. That's like, like fucking Mike, bro. Mike called me the other day. He's like, I'm in Costa Rica, bro. He's like, he's like, bro. Yep. Shout, let me tell you guys what's going on first. Mike is my boy. He's from he's from Daytona, Shout Florida, bro. Mike, and, from the shore. And he, yeah, and he, he from the shore. He gnarly, dude. You know what I mean? He's actually gonna be on the show one of these days, man. Like he told me he's gonna be back soon. He's gonna come back to the shores, but he's like, bro, I don't know. If I'm going to be stuck somewhere, I'd rather be stuck here. And I was facts. like, damn, facts, bro. And he's like, bro, I'm so fucking burnt. I can't go out, bro. <laughs> it's like fucking liquid gold. Fucking, fucking. <laughs> he's like fucking golden, bro. And he's like, bro, fucking some blocks like liquid gold out there. Yeah, That's facts. how he talks. I was like, yo, Mike, bro. He's like, but I'm going to be on the show, man. I want to talk shit about, you know, everybody has their own opinion about this corona shit with COVID. Facts. And then... Everybody has their own opinion in different locations of the world. So they're looking at it from an outside sort. You know, they're mm-hmm. looking at it from an outside perspective. And it's like, it's crazy how people think and how they look at it. It's wild. It's wild. But mm-hmm. yeah, man, it, he's out there chilling. His, his buddy owns a hotel. He's out there jumping on the roof, jumping into the pool. My dog is living he made a post. fucking life. He made a post. He said, bro, I don't care if I die. <laughs> That's what he said. That's how you know you're living life, bro. Facts. Nah, but it, he's chilling out there, man. Um, but I hope he stays safe, man, because Costa Rica's wild. Yeah, bro. Nah, you got to stay safe, man. And speaking country. about safety, man, you know, we live in Florida. For those of y'all that don't know, we live in Florida. You know, Florida's more lenient when it comes to guns and shit like that. We're allowed to have more guns. We don't have to go through so many steps as other states and shit like that. Facts. But, you know, we do still have rules. And one of the rules is that you got to have a three-step process for a gun. Now, yeah, yeah. that is that's a touchy subject for a lot of people. Like I personally don't believe in the three step process because that could get you fucking killed. A gun, a cop doesn't have his gun, you know, on safety in his glove box put away. He has that shit ready oh, to man. go on his fucking hip. You exactly. know what I'm saying? So it's like, why can y'all ride around like that? But we have to like, no, nah, you need a four step process, nigga. I'll be shot dead. By the time I even reach for my fucking gun, it only takes one second for a bullet to travel from the gun to yep. you. You don't have time to sit there and, and fucking fumble around. And that's how Mo Three got killed. Rest in peace, Mo Three. Mo Three had a gun in the car, bro, but he had it in a fucking hidden compartment because he's a felon and couldn't have it on him. Yeah. So he's like, he wanted it in his surroundings, but it was too, he couldn't reach for it. Yeah. Once them sharks start going, bro, you ain't reaching for nothing. Yeah. So I that even... three step process is bullshit to me, bro. Straight up. I've even heard fucking police officers tell me, like off-duty police officers. Mm-hmm. I used to work at the cigar lounge downtown, and I'm telling you, you told me he's like, "There's no such thing as, as that three-step rule. That's bullshit, That's bro. bullshit, bro." You know what I mean? Like, at, at least in the holster, it needs to be at least in the holster. You know what I mean? But I, even then, bro, you can't even tell. Like, come on, bro. Like, it's it's in it's in my possession. It's mine. It's it's a clean gun. And I'm not a convicted felon, like mm-hmm. you said, right? So if, if you're not a convicted felon, you, you're able to carry, you're able to buy this gun. And I, have it in, in your vehicle. And guys, don't. it surprises me that a lot of people still don't know the law. You know, when I tell them I don't have my license, I have my certificate. I don't have my license to conceal, right? right? 
So people, wow, man, you're still able to have that gun. It, it surprises me. Grown people still don't know the law. Like, bro, yes, you got, in the state of Florida, if you're over the age of 21, right? 18. 18, actually. Yeah, I got pulled over at 19 with a pistol. Yeah. And the cop told me to my face. He's like, as long as you're 18 years old, you're not a convicted felon, and the gun isn't reported stolen, you know, or like wanted for anything, you could have that gun in your possession at 18 years old. So if you're a parent and you have an 18 year old, you could buy them a fucking pistol and have them keep it in their car. Yep. Legally. They get pulled over, it, it's legal. So. There's no excuse to not have protection. It's just people are scared. Some people are scared of it. Other people don't believe in it. They're like, oh, there's no need for me to have a gun until the day that they need the gun. And now they're calling the cops so they could come with the guns. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? It's like, come on, bro. Like, yeah. Ultimately, man, I believe in, in right to bear arms, bro. I'm going to protect my mine and my family, period. Yeah. Like, I'm not going to sit here and wait. The average, the average 911 call takes six minutes for them to get to your house. You know how much shit could happen in six minutes? Your whole family could be slaughtered and the nigga run out the backyard and be gone in six minutes. Yeah. Honestly. Yeah. So it's like, nah, in those six minutes, nigga, I'm going to hold it down. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, for real, for real. Nah, real talk, man. Because it's like, fuck, man. Like, there's plenty of times. And I've been in a situation, too, where I had, I actually had the pistol on me, right? And it was in my friend's vehicle. My friend's vehicle... And so that's private property. That's considered your house. People need to understand that. Yeah, like, that's you your can, property. You as long your like, vehicle and your house is private it, property. I don't have my concealed. Remember, I still don't have my concealed. I'm about to get it. But during that time, like I was just sitting in the car, and we got pulled over, and the pistol was on my lap. You know what I mean? In the holster, and he gave me the gun back. It was cool. It was all dandy. Um, but yeah, if I would have been walking around with it on me. That's right. a different if story. If you have it in a backpack or you have it on your hip inside of a store, yeah. if you have it anywhere that's not your vehicle or your house yep. and you don't have a concealed weapons permit, yeah. you could get in trouble. Or your property. Your property, property. I think I think your property. You here. can't have it in a backpack. Damn. It's only your vehicle or your house. You can't be walking around with it inside a backpack. That's concealed carrying. Yeah, unless you're walking inside your house. You know that's, I mean? different. Yeah, that's, different. that's different. That's different. That's not yeah. out in public. But, but yeah, man, yeah, it's, I was it's, able. Just, yeah, I was it's one of those things, bro, where, you know, if you, if you know the law, if you know the law, you'll be all right. And, you know, that's the thing. A lot of people don't know the law, plus they're scared of firearms, which yeah. is, it's sort of understandable. No, but, it is, but... But ultimately, you, you need to protect your family, and you can't rely on everybody else to always come save you. The we're cops not, aren't always going to make it on time. We're not in the swords times. We're like yeah, we're fucking like, sitting here fighting swords. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. You got facts. time to run away and shit. No, facts. no, bro. Like, not facts. These, like It's not like the British when they're packing the shit, and they're like, <laughs> and you got time to fucking dip on their ass. No, bro. It's, bro, boom, boom, and it's like, fuck, it's quick. That's it. You know what I mean? It. It's quick. Yeah, man. You don't got time to sit here and, and wait on somebody else to come save your life. But, yeah, guys, yep. we're back with another episode. We appreciate everybody that's rocking, liking, sharing, subscribing. Don't forget to thumbs up. Hit that notification thumbs bell. Up. You know, so that you're notified every single time that we drop a video. Link Go in the down, bio. Link in the description so you could get you some merch. And, uh, yeah, guys, much love from us to the Dope Talk family. We appreciate you, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace.